Hello and good evening, everybody. My name is Amanda J, and with me is my co-host. Cash Money Millionaire. Yay! And thank you, Cash, for joining us this evening. We are so Absolutely. excited. We have been excited for the last couple of weeks. And again, we are going to have a wonderful, wonderful time getting to know some wonderful baiters who have been kind of in the spotlight. And we didn't really even know what was kind of happening until we heard about them. So again, we are super, super excited. Thank you all for joining us this evening. And we hope that we'll be able to answer some questions and provide great details of what these two do, what these two individuals do. And so what we're going to do is first is we're going to bring up a gentleman named Hatch who does live streams on Twitch. And what he does is he bites on Twitter. It is so cool to see. So again, let us welcome our wonderful dear friend Hatch. So Hatch, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you don't mind just well, unmuting yourself. Hello, hello. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I am absolutely excited to be here, and um, I think it's going to be fun, informative, and uh, mm -hmm. and as you see, we're already raving at Cash's place, so let's go. Party I never know, stops. Party, yes. So <laughs> we, we thank you, Cash, for uh, you know letting us party at your place, and again, let's just kind of say a few hellos here uh, while we're uh, so again, we've got Cindy, who is a wonderful person and a great moderator. Um, Deflu, hello. Dilhol. Um, we have KDA, who is also an awesome moderator. And a um, she's just awesome, awesome host. And again, we got Hatch. We've got Return of Steely. Thank you so much for joining us over here. And thank you for watching and joining in Hatch's streams. I know that you're one of a kind kind of guy. And so we appreciate it. Um, and we have Mark Evans. Thank you so much for being here. Mary. Hello, Mary. And uh, Cindy Turner, of course. And so again, just thank you all for joining us. So again, we have some questions for you already. Um, and again, we may not answer them all on the panel, but you guys are certainly welcome to answer anything that you have in chat. But if you want a opportunity to speak in person, we are going to give you the opportunity just a little bit later on our Q&A session. So just hang on tight and let's uh, let's have some fun. Have some fun with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, Hatch, uh, we've we've done a lot of preparing for this. So I know this is going to be yeah, kind that's of what you want to call it. <laughs> well, well as, as far as as far as uh, me, Amanda and you uh, getting to know kind of mm -hmm. your side of the scamming and uh, or scam baiting not the scamming right. you're not a scammer i want to clarify that yeah, before, I, before i dig he, my own hole he is a baiter he is a baiter uh so uh basically how, how did you get into this what uh what got you kicked off on it uh how, how did you how did you how did you find out about scam baiting and what got you into it to begin with uh long time ago um I'll, I'll try to make this as sweet, sweet and short as possible. A long time ago, my son was five, and he said, "When he wanted, when he was, when he grows up, he wants to be a YouTuber." I didn't even know at the time you could make money off YouTube, so I started doing some research. I discovered Twitch and live streaming. Um, I started watching someone called Kit Boga. I'm sure almost everybody here may have heard of him. One of the I top tiers. Absolutely. Oh God, he is the god. Um, I was absolutely fascinated with what he does and it was so entertaining. So I was like, well, I'm going to start to myself. When I first started streaming, I started doing the phone call style scam baits like he did, mm -hmm. but it was, it was just too much for me. One person, uh, you know, no team or anything helping me. It was just me. And I, I didn't know a lot of the technical background of what to do. Um, mm -hmm. So I ended up just being a gamer and I did that for almost two years um then i was i was getting burnt out on all the games i was playing i was getting sick of it as a content creator i was struggling for content I, and at the same time i'm a disabled single parent so um i live on a very tight budget and i just had my car broke down um 
bills were due and I went on to Twitter and just, I wasn't even looking for it, but I found some uh, legitimate philanthropist giving away money. So I was like, well, put my cash tag out there and maybe I'll get picked and goodbye bills, goodbye credit cards. And I got responses from people saying, DM me with your cash tag and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't know anything about scams on Twitter at the time. Mm -hmm. So I ended up chatting with one of them. I gave them my online login information to my bank, but in my gut the whole time, it just didn't feel right. Went to bed, woke up the next morning. I knew something was wrong. So I immediately changed all my banking information, my password, my login, everything before I believe they got in and did any damage. Mm-hmm. And it dawned on me that he was a scammer. And then it just, I just started seeing all these other posts and like, there's so many scammers on Twitter. This is insane. And at the same time, no content scammers. I know sc- I've seen scam baiting and it just mm-hmm. kind of came together. Well, we're right. glad that you did. I mean, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here today talking about this. And so it's definitely very, very interesting. And so he kind of asked you uh, a couple of questions. I'm going to ask you a couple as well. Is what even made you consider doing the baiting of this style? Um, To be honest, I think most of it was at the beginning, it was I just needed something to stream. I needed something to put out there for my viewers. So let's just do Mm -hmm. it. And then I started keeping track of all of everything, everybody I was baiting and I was going and then following up and seeing, and I started feeling really good inside. Um, I had been in a really uh, depressive and anxiety rut since my divorce, which was like three years ago. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. And I started feeling good about myself. I started feeling like I was having some purpose and doing something. And mm. my, my hair is standing up now as I talk about it. Um, so I, I feel like I've, Finally, at my age, I finally found my calling in life, and mm-hmm. I uh, I enjoy doing it now. Every just so every inch of my body loves it now. Good, Absolutely. good. Absolutely. And and while we're um, uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and bring our next guest as well, so that way he can kind of answer some of the same questions if you don't mind. Um, so again, we want to introduce Whiskey Scambator who also does Twitter and Instagram and he does non-delivery type scams. And so he'll definitely tell you a little bit more, but if that's all right, we're going to go ahead and introduce whiskey and bring him onto the panel. So again, whiskey. Hello. Hey, hello. 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 Thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. So again, again, you definitely want to catch up with these guys. Um, They're great. And so as you can kind of tell, we've already kind of been asking, you know, hatch uh, some of the same questions what is kind of the same thing for you? Um, you know, what kind of got you into the style? Yeah. So I, I, you know, I got into it, um, you know, during lockdown and everything, I, I discovered, you know, the, the big scam baiters, uh, Kipoga, Pierogi, with scammer payback. <clears throat> and, you know, I watched, I was a fan for a while and I was like, you know what, I wonder if there, you know, are any type of whiskey type scams. So I, I've been mm-hmm. in the alcohol beverage business for almost 20 years. So I went on Twitter, I dusted off my Twitter account that I hadn't used in years and typed in whiskey scam. And Mm. lo and behold, there was an account on there called whiskey scam alert. And I was like, whoa, okay, this is pretty cool. So I started following them, started reporting accounts. And then I was like, you know what? I wonder if I can actually bait these folks on Twitter. So I reached out to him. Thank you. I said, hey, do you do any scam baiting? Are you aware of scam baiting? And they were like, no, I'm pretty much, you know, just reporting and i he does some engagement in terms of trying to find out where they are and confirm that they're mm-hmm. a scammer i said all right well i think i think i'm gonna get into it would that be cool with you and they were like yeah absolutely that'd be amazing because it's pretty much he was the only one on twitter you know going mm-hmm. after these whiskey scams and the whiskey community is very very similar to the scamming community it's a very tight niche close community that supports each other so you know i created a whiskey scam baiter on twitter and uh started scam baiting and then mm. decided to get an okay. instagram as well because i saw a bunch of them on you know my personal instagram page and i was like you know what I'll, let me cross over and do that as well and that's how i got into it 
right, so right. two of my two passions, whiskey and scam baiting. That's so <laughs> I cool. was able to come up. And I'm, I'm glad you did too. Doing what you love. Uh, yeah, and that's cool. kind of what we're going to discuss. Uh, yes. And, and and that's pretty much what you guys have kind of already discussed anyway, is trying to find something that you're passionate about. And if you're passionate about scam baiting, then find something that you're really, really um, kind of hits home and that you also know about. Um, so yeah, again, love- uh, Hatch, oops, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I'm no, sorry. I was just going to say uh, either, you know, Cash or Amanda J or anybody, if you, um, because hopefully I've got some uh, some folks of the whiskey community either in here tonight or going to watch this down the road. But some of them aren't aware of what scam baiting is. Obviously, some of them follow me and they, they know the mm-hmm. name, but I don't know if they necessarily know the, the actual details of scam baiting. So I, I would, I, you know, somebody else <laughs> talking right. like describe what scam baiting is. And, and that's true. I... Oh, I, it's literally almost like whiskey story. When I met whiskey, I was scam baiting already. I knew they were on Twitter, but even I didn't. I saw whiskey scam baiter, and I was like, "What is a whiskey scam?" And then, and then we we started chatting, and um, he's uh, whiskey is amazingly resourceful. He's helped me out in the background sometimes. It's he's the, the dude's got talent. That's all I got to mm-hmm. say. He does. He does. And, uh, and again, thank you all for have uh, joined us, uh, such as like a lunatic four. I always got to remember that four. Uh, oh, is here. Yeah. I love alone. Um, I'm glad you got to know her too. Uh, she's awesome. And agent grant man. Thank you for being here. Ismail. Hello, Ismail. And, uh, so again, thank you guys for joining us this evening and uh, we'll just keep continuing with some of the questions. Also, we have in the background is our friend Nope, who will be joining us here in just a little bit. So hang on tight, Nope and KDA. And uh, all right, I have a couple other questions, if you don't mind. Um, okay, this is actually could be for, for, for both of you guys. Um, actually... Um, well, here, while you're, while you're going down that road... Um, so, so Hatch, you do the uh, the Twitch TV or Twitch TV, <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and um, that was that is something that uh, we had talked about earlier, and that, that's that's a little bit harder to stream because there is no mm-hmm. there is no verbal context to that. I mean, it is all it is all text based, and you have to be the entertainer while you're also doing the, the scam. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, most, that's a good question right there. How do you aware, do that? Most people are aware of the, the phone call type scam baiting. You know, you're listening on the phone calls and, um, you know, from a streamer, then you have audio and video, but when I'm mm-hmm. chatting in Twitter, you know, I'm not talking to them. I can't, nobody can hear them. Um, so I, ha- I, I, I kind of narrate what I'm typing out, um, just to fill some of that silence. Cause if you don't have audio, people aren't going to watch. It's, it's just a mm-hmm. fact. So, you know, fill in some of the silence, explaining what's going on, explaining some of the scams. Um, mm-hmm. it's, it's a little more challenging in that aspect, but it's something that I like cause it's, it's, uh, seems like when you're for me when you're talking to someone it's a very it's a personal connection you you know someone mm-hmm. there's a, another human it's, it's humanizing feeling but when i'm chatting with them i can kind of just disconnect my personal self from my scam baiting self yeah. and that's why it's so mm-hmm. feels so right for me instead of the phone calls well I, uh mm-hmm. from from a streamer's point of view uh there's a lot of people uh uh, myself included like i'll uh i'll watch a lot of streams and i'll just have my phone in my pocket but i'll have my earbuds in mm-hmm. that's, yeah, that's kind of exactly. hard to do when it's text-based the, <laughs> it, yeah, it is. The, the, we call those lurkers and by god we love our lurkers they are our viewer count um yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah so if i wasn't talking and narrating no one's going to watch me and and if they can't see it you know if they're doing something in the background just have it on they can still right. listen to it yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's well, you, you also got to look at two, you know, folks that are visually impaired. You know, it, it, it's basically mm-hmm. like a podcast. I, I do it at work. I'll, I'll turn a stream in and I, I can't necessarily engage the stream through, you know, in chat, but, you know, I, I listen to it. Right. <laughs> and, <without. laughs> and real quick, I just want to interject. Neon family, thank you so much for just even popping in. I can't believe it's already 2 a.m. on your time. So, again, thank you. You have a great night. Get some good sleep and we'll look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thanks for stopping by. 
CJ, hello. Um, so again, you're absolutely right. I mean, Cash, I, I thank you for bringing that up because it, it is different when you have to look at everything from the background. And plus, he just showed us like his whole desk and his monitors and what's going yeah. on. And so he's like focusing on this and that and then try to also provide the content and saying, okay, this is what I'm going to be doing. So uh, again, you know, for one to get prepared for this, what should someone do? I mean, especially if they're considering even just doing um, even Twitter, I mean, not Twitter, but Twitch and doing Twitter at the same time, which is probably very, very difficult in this situation. Well, there that's that's kind of like an apples and oranges questions. But you're gonna Sorry. Have different yeah. Answers. Okay. No, you're, you're, um, you're, it's fine. It's a good question. No, it's a good question. Let me go at it. Yeah. Um, so content creation, it's really easy to start. Um, they make it as simple as download the app on your phone. If you're playing your game on your mm -hmm. phone, you can start streaming. Or you can get a $5,000 PC and a seven, eight monitors and kind of like what I do and do it that way. So mm -hmm. um, scam baiting, at least in Twitter, the way I do it on Twitter, also very easy to get into. But what you're going to want to focus on in the beginning is just making sure you don't slip up and give out personal information if you're trying to stream it and bait it, you're not doxing yourself, giving out phone numbers, addresses, stuff like yes. that. And that's probably, I would even, say, even, go ahead, Whiskey. Oh, or, uh, gosh, whoever. Uh, even, <laughs> even, even besides that, uh, just getting into it, I would say. Yes. Don't, uh, even if you're not streaming it, uh, I mean, because, yeah, you have, to, you have to be pretty big for someone to want to to dox you you know yeah. <laughs> you have to you have to make some enemies for someone to want to dox you on the on the streaming side but uh because normally it all starts out with uh, close friends and, and you know people in the community and stuff like that i mean yeah there are a few sour apples but mm -hmm. um but but just getting into it uh, i mean you have to have, I, I would i would assume i i don't know i've never done the the social media baits but uh i would assume you you have to have a whole different identity on there right <laughs> 100 oh, percent absolutely 100 mm -hmm. percent um my baiting profile ironically is my original profile that i had on twitter but i went and scrubbed all my personal tweets and pictures and stuff from it so mm. that way shut it down and restarted I'm, right um that's i'm not actually presenting my, yeah. myself to well i have two twitter profiles there's my you know one for i post all my uh, baits information and in stream but then there's my baiting profile that just looks like it's a disabled dad uh it's you'd never say, if you saw it you wouldn't think anything about twitter scam baiting but yeah you, you right. definitely don't want to be putting out anything personal uh to these scammers and on this on the, on the um mention of getting doxing you you may not um you know have a personal enemy or something but you're pissing off some scammers and if they mm -hmm. find out your Twitch uh, lab, uh, uh, what do I say, link, and if you mm -hmm. got links in there to everything else, um, it's going to make it hard to scam bait because they're going to know who you are. They're going to pop in and see, oh, he's scam baiting now. He's talking to so-and-so. Don't talk mm -hmm. to him. Yeah. So talking it's, to so and so who's, be, who's in the room next door to them, right? <laughs> right. It, it can be a very fine line as to what you want to share with a scam baiter. Like um, at, at the end of every one of my scam baits, I end up outing myself. I tell them that I'm a scam baiter. You're doing this against terms of services. You've been reported, blah blah blah. But I don't tell them, well, here's my Twitter um scam baiting profile and here's my mm -hmm. twitch link because i don't want them to go find that because by that time you're right. they'll never be able to access that account again yeah yeah they'll start reporting me for everything and yeah. it could make my life hell now yeah, yeah so we don't want that to happen definitely for sure so again it, like you said you just have to be very very careful on what you're doing and knowing exactly how to communicate verbally through text and kind of do their lingo, their communication, just like we were talking earlier, Hatch. Yeah, um, surprisingly, like none of yep. my uh, none of my accounts actually have been docs. I unlike Hatch, I do not reveal. Um, the few times I have, but I do not. One of the reasons I don't is most of the folks I deal with are in West Africa, primarily Cameroon. Uh, when it comes to whiskey and puppies, that's where they're based out of. Um, I don't think they're that aware 
of what scam baiting is. Um, and I also don't want to give them any tips or clues. Um, most of them are young men operating out of internet cafes or on their phone. They're, they are connected to organized crime from what the research I've found out. Mm -hmm. um, but they're, for the most part, pretty independent, but within a network. So there's no office. There's no, very different than tech support scams where, you know, they're in an office, you know, somewhere in Asia. These guys are on their phone, you know, hanging out in their, you know, towns and uh, scamming everything they can. Oh my gosh, uh, well, yes. And Whiskey makes a good point of, of, of not wanting to out in himself to, so they're not so aware of it. Um, but on a little bit of a flip side, I have had some scammers that I have baited on five different profiles. And every time they didn't remember who I was. No. And, it's hard for them to keep track, so, right? You know, it, it can't they, be they're, running... they're chatting with so many people yes. that they don't mm -hmm. really remember. So I out myself. So when they log in at that time and their, can, their account is suspended, they're going to be like, oh, mm -hmm. shit, that one guy. Yeah, they've got so mm -hmm. they've got so many lines in the water. It, it, you know, they it's very hard for them to figure out which one is actually biting and which one kind of bit them. And, oh, and Dill Hole, I, I saw you ask a question earlier. Uh, it's rye whiskey is in my glass. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Sorry, my cat's in the way. So yes. I don't know how to. Chat. I don't know how to answer in chat. So, um, <laughs> no, you're whiskey, you're fine. Are, are, are you a glass half empty or a glass half full? I'm a glass half full guy. Mm. Like, <laughs> mm. Just pour half more. empty. It's time to pour more. Now, again, let's let's cheers to what you guys are doing. And again, just thank you guys for being here. And uh, so, cheers and salutations to both for your accomplishments so far and where you've been, where you're going. And uh, so, again, it's just amazing. But I do need to kind of interject here just for a quick kind of. Um, a quick thing because earlier our, my friend Nope and I are in team SDS, as you know, as, as so many other people, and we are doing a GoFundMe page um, because we are in need of additional supports to put in place. So that way we can help other scam baiters like myself and we can provide more tools for the scam baiters and also educational and promotional. So again, the link is above. Um, and so if you don't mind checking it out, then that would be great. It will also help team SDS and it'll also help the whole community, the whole community. So, um, and again, we're also going to be providing, uh, links are also in the description for both whiskey and hatch. So just let y'all know if you're, uh, you know, when to kind of, you know, catch all that at the end. That would be great. Um, but again, let's continue on with uh, some more of our discussion. So I hope you don't mind just kind of um, giving that little. Yeah, no, uh, absolutely. Because we, we definitely uh, really need to help. So. Well, so. Uh, uh, one, one thing that I was going to ask uh, whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so whiskey, when, when, when you got started on this, uh, what, what was your setup? Uh, same setup I have. <laughs> same so setup I, you have. Yeah, I'm on a laptop, um, and you know, I set up a couple different Twitter accounts, um, and then I use my phone, and that's it. So ah. you know, I, I VPN when I can, but you know, through Twitter and Instagram, and as long as I'm not clicking things I shouldn't be clicking, it's mm. um, you know, it's pretty good. The websites that I that I after I started. After I had been doing it for a month or two, I really started focusing in on the scam um, websites, and I, it's probably over 50 sites that we've been able to take down, and those are a lot harder to get back up versus the puppy scams. If you've ever looked at a puppy scam website, which you know you can go to the Daily Scam, Scam Advisor, PetScams.com, and there's a slew of them that you can look at. They're very basic. You know, there's no checkout, mm -hmm. there's no credit card information, or in scammers case bitcoin so it's not very it's, it's a very plain page um whiskey sites there you click on it it takes you a description of the whiskey there's checkout so they're a lot more elaborate so they're much more difficult to get back up right. that is that is very true um and since i kind of brought up that uh little thing i'm going to go ahead and bring up nope if that's okay that way yes. you can kind of discuss um and maybe ask a few additional questions that we don't have already written so nope 
uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring you up to panel. And again, here's a great baiter, great friend, and one who is helping the community out so much. So again, let's give a warm welcome to our friend, Nope. Hello, Nope. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So if you want, I know that I kind of brought that up. And so I, I saw that your comment, I was like, oh, let's go ahead and just do a, a quick announcement again with note present. And then that way, if you have any questions too, for our gentleman here. As well. Well, uh, well, the whole, well, with the whole ever uh, advert and all that, like the whole, the whole gun go find me thing is because I'm running two PBX servers for the community that has 30 users between them. I'm running Shipbox media. It's a 104 terabyte media server uh i got um uh, our own version of responder so we can have fake banks we can have we can have fake uh car generators it's, it runs off of a oh, plug-in I, mm -hmm. I, I can oh, make I that to. happen make that happen that's that's what she left out she left out what the projects were well that's, that's why i wanted I to bring you. in that's why i wanted to kind of just discuss it a little bit and then yeah, bring in yeah. because because again I we had, just yeah, we just tried I, I this on me today. I had to cut a lot of our servers, and because I had a lot of uh, IRL issues um, that I had to deal with that required money. Um, that you know those kinds of things that come up in life that are just really unfortunate and not well timed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so I I, ha I have to take care of that, and uh, if we want to keep these projects up and running. For the whole community to use, you just let me know you use your names and passwords and shit. Um, oh, I am going to be in touch with you for sure. That's that's fine. That'd and be for great. My whiskey, for my whiskey friends uh, who may be here, IRL is in real life. Yes. I, I had to Google that a while ago. No, <laughs> it's okay, okay. It's okay. But again, it's it's important to understand that. You know, on some of the Twitter, like you said, whiskey, you're not going to need everything such as a PBX or a dialer or some of the other tools that some of us baiters <laughs> have. But you still have to have your persona. You still have to have certain tools for your trade to make it even more realistic and and resourceful and getting that uh, information out so that we can pass it out to other people. You know, yeah, you have to make a, make a big that impact is. on that on helping the scam, you know, helping the people who are victims. And um, and I know Hatch has a story about that too. But again, you know, with Nope, we just want to make sure because TMSDS is actually like our home sub for everybody. Yeah, and if you're not if you're not if you don't have a dialer or anything um like it, it it's so much better than text now what my um, mm -hmm. one, one of my one of my uh, pbx servers spoofs the numbers every time you call so they can't block you and um uh, call ids and it also uh records all all calls goodbye and it, it, rec it records all calls so you don't have mm -hmm. to worry about doing that second hand it's got a dashboard where you can retrieve all your calls and stuff like that it's great i, I love it uh, and, mm -hmm. and 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 everybody that it's done it loves it, it, it that's just, cool. uh, it you know that's it. one of the things to piggyback on kind of what nope said you know to talk about the community one of the things mm -hmm. that i found you know kind of doing something very different than your your typical um you know scam bait was when i when i started to join the community how how supportive everyone is of, of one another and you know especially with sds and and the tools that you know <clears throat> you guys are providing folks free of charge mm -hmm. uh to help go after these scammers is well is really you know i, I don't like i don't like i don't like uh asking for like monthly charges and shit i i want i want these tools to be available to anybody who wants to stop people that are taking advantage of other people mm -hmm. and um if you can if you can donate to keep the servers alive because you know that does cost money i that's great but if you can't it's whatever mm -hmm. just, oh, just be part of, of our whiskey. community a whiskey had noted on the on the you know getting into the community um when i've kind of just recently started 
uh, networking here within the community, everyone's been so amazing. Um, and I've also seen uh, that everybody does their baiting a little bit differently. I mean, it's mm -hmm. kind of like the snow, no two snowflakes are alike. No two scam right. baiters are alike. And I, I think it's fascinating. I love watching. I watched CJ the other day for the first time. I was oh, just and blown incredible. away by what she does. Wow. Yes, yes. And, and if whoever has not watched her, please go do it because I love her show. She does on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I appreciate her having us on um, and helping promote this as well. And again, also she has her own um, show during and talking about the scams and also showing how to prevent them as well. So again, CJ, you're awesome. Please keep up doing what you're doing and just know that we got your back, you know, and, and you're right. To flu, everyone is very unique and has their own style, and that's why it's important to kind of understand how and, and listen. I think it's it's a really good to where you can say like, okay, Hatch, I have not done a Twitter bait, so what do I need to do? And I know you're going to help me provide oh, what I need. Yeah, I didn't realize I was sorry. No, no, you're good. Um, <laughs> and so, again, I think it's important for us to kind of listen and learn and evaluate how everyone does it very uniquely in the styles and then kind of incorporate your own, like you said, Hatch. Right. So, and that's, I'm just kind of making back and off you. Sorry. I'm doing the tech. No, that's fine. Uh, since I'm doing the text based one, I have to show a lot more and I show everybody. And I do it also for transparency, just so everybody can see every step I'm doing along the way. Um, cause it can also be evidence if it's, there's ever, uh, you know, some big scam baiting hub is raided and whoa, oh, this guy's got this, but anyway, mm -hmm. um, oh, I forgot totally what I was talking about. Oh, that happens so often. It's um, okay. It's just about like, okay. yeah, just uh, figuring out what, uh, what works best, you know? And yeah. So. Oh yeah. So I do, uh, you know, and in my baits, I have to do fake cash app screens and, uh, fake balance screens and stuff. So it takes a little bit of technical know-how. You don't have to necessarily mm -hmm. be, you know, a coder to do it. But, um, if, if, if you have a little bit of back, if you can do more than just turn on your computer, if you can get in your control panel and do stuff, you can Twitter scam bait. It, it, it's just that easy. I don't know if you, got, right, uh, you guys saw Doug Doom's question. Yeah, I was just about to say that. This would be a good question. Um, uh, you know, again, saying, I do not understand the term tools and what do you and who can use them. Again, tools are basically like the dialer, um, the VMs. Um, virtual machines. Virtual machines. And virtual things to uh, where, you know, we can work as a team to um, really get information that's valuable to where then we can report it, you know, and even use it for, uh, you know, if we have to use it for the FBI um, and also interjecting into a, a, a victim, you know, there are times where we'll do be on a call or on a Twitter scam. And, you know, so again, hopefully that's been answered, but definitely each of y'all, if you want to kind of chime in on, on the tools that uh, we all use. Yeah. Dialer. So the dialer. Um, I'll let Nope go or whoever that was. Yeah, it wasn't me. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll uh, well, I, th I use things um, that are just common tools you can find on the internet, like an IP logger. Um, you want to obviously have a VPN. I just recently got one, thank goodness, um, to just protect your own IP and stuff. Things like uh, reverse image searches. Um, mm -hmm. You can find out so much just from a lot of tools that are out there on the internet already and use quite a few of them. And I've actually learned quite a few of them from whiskey, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's yeah, a there's, great there's guy. a lot of tools. There are a lot of tools that uh, we can mention on a live stream. A lot of tools that we don't necessarily want to mention on mm -hmm. uh, live streams, especially on YouTube, because mm -hmm. uh, we know I know Hatch and I, and and we know um, definitively that we we have followers on Twitter that are monitoring us, that are looking at what we're doing. I'm sure at some point they'll be watching uh, this stream. So. So scared. there's uh, <laughs> there's uh, there's there's a million tools out there for you to use. There's there's a million tools. Uh, I I feel like the best tool, no matter if you're doing, um, and the the live streaming side of of uh, scam baiting is it's 
it's kind of saturated already. So if, if that's something mm -hmm. you want to go down to go down through, you better have a lot of money in your pocket. You better be a good YouTuber to begin with. Uh, but uh, as far mm -hmm. as like basic tools, knowledge is the first one. Knowing what you need to do to get set up. Mm -hmm. um, uh, know, knowing how to protect your identity. I say yes. No matter no matter what kind of scam baiting or or anything you're doing in the scam baiting community, even if you're not doing calls or even if you're not doing Twitter baits, if you're doing anything that involves contact with a scammer, VPN is your number one. Gotta get a VPN. And uh, and uh, I I don't know I, I don't know if there's any free ones out there. I don't know if, I don't know what the best one is. I think they're all pretty well good as long as they're from a I, reputable... mm, there's some free ones i think I no whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. all right if you get if you if you want a good vpn you're gonna get gotta get something like wireguard it was something that's wireguard based or open vpn based but you get wireguard is probably your best bet since it's faster just to scare uh, your your best bet for BV, vpns are malved or azire you go to malved.net or azire dot azire vpn dot com i think those mm -hmm. are your best bets for vpns desire owns all their own servers so that nobody can take your data and um for any free vpn will sell your data for to make money that's how they make money that's how they make the free vpn mm -hmm. oh there you go there you go uh, vpn is the starting point i i mean i pay yes. for mine so i don't i don't necessarily know but uh but yeah, VPN is the ultimate starting point when it comes to any type of communication. So, Cash, you can, can, you, can you explain what a VPN a is? Can, can we? Put oh, in oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. So, VPN just basically uh, takes your internet connection and it pings it in a different location. So, the anybody who's in contact with you, like uh, right now, I can mm -hmm. I can tell you the temperature and what, where am I at right now. Well, depending on the VPN protocol, <laughs> mm -hmm. the VPN protocol it, it, it encrypts your data too. WireGuard and OpenVPN encrypt your data, so yeah, nobody, but nobody but just can, on a on a basic level, on nobody, a basic level, nobody can see your data in between. Yeah, yeah, it it, it basically makes you anonymous. Yes, your, it hides your IP address. Yeah, or not anonymous, but yeah, it hides your IP address. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's very important to have those uh, additional tools. And, uh, and then, then, and then, like, uh, like dialers and, and virtual machines. That's you, know, you, you got to work your way up to being comfortable with. That's that. the next that's, step. Yeah, that's yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's down the road. That that's that's nothing. You you just you don't start out like, hey, I need a VM and a dialer. Okay, right. So what do I do now? <laughs> well, I didn't, I, yeah, no, I didn't start that way in 2016 yeah. either. But no, but I now think. I'm so thankful that that. Nope has kindly said, Hey, if you want to dial, I've got something for you. And, but it took me a while, you know, to get there because you got to get trusted. You got to, you know, do the steps to get into place. Like you said, you know, start off just being a talker, you know, someone who actually makes the calls, someone who listens, someone who promotes and helps do other prevention type stuff. But again, you got to listen and observe first and then yeah, figure that's out good. where you're going to go. Good. That's the great thing about with what we're doing, where it, a lot of, you know, what, the, you know, we're all social engineers, you know, anybody who's scam baiting is social engineering, but that's the really cool thing, you know, about baiting on Twitter and social media platforms is um, anybody can do it. Even if you're wasting their time, uh, you know, in the whiskey community, we get, we get flagged. So, you know, we've got this whole network of any, any scammer that likes any of our, like our big whiskey guys, they am immediately tag us in it and we know who they are. And a lot of them will engage with them. They'll troll them. They'll waste their time in the chat. And they're not actually, quote unquote, baiting. But you're wasting a scammer's time. You're a scam baiter. Um, and and it's, it's really cool. The, the, the biggest thing, uh, going, going back to what I was getting at, the biggest thing is just knowledge. You just, you got to really protect yourself to begin with. You got to protect yourself. You got to, you got to make sure that no one else is going to be able to access your shit. Uh, you don't put any personal information out there, anything like that. That, that's the, that's the first tool is knowledge <laughs> i mean yes yeah and for for non-delivery scams you know where, where my knowledge comes in and, and because i'm super niche with, because it is non-delivery scams and really specifically how i got started was with whiskey is because i know a lot about whiskey so from a content creator stance like 
I'm asking them stupid questions that anybody in the whiskey community kind of already know the answer for. You know, is Jack, this is for cash, is Jack Daniels bourbon is one of my go-tos. Because they just <laughs> Google it, yeah. you know, but but for my audience, and that that's entertainment, you know, for, for my whiskey side of the audience, you know, asking them, you know, posting ridiculous prices for, you know, bottles that are $2,000. You know, and they're selling them for 800 bucks, stuff that's impossible to find that, you know, they're posting that they, you know, they have four bottles of. Um, and, you know, that's that's fun. It's very niche, <laughs> super niche, but that's fun mm-hmm. to the whiskey community. No, that's uh, uh, very true. And, and yes, Jasper Newton, of, Bill Hole. Well, and also and, Doug uh, had a question, too. Um, and, and we can make sure that we get those questions answered uh, here in just a little bit. But go ahead, Hedge. Oh, and I was going to say, whereas Whiskey's does the product non delivery scams, I focus more on the financial scams where they're trying to get money out of someone, Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. Um, and they, they all have operate from a script. They go out, they can go out on the dark web or they have other networks where they just get, they, get, they go buy these scripts of how these scams are run. And then they literally just copy and paste in a chat base. And you can take them on some app when you get them to actually listen to you, you can take them on some wild rides. It's, it's, it can be, every bait is, is there's so much potential for craziness in every bait. But that's, that's, that's kind of the entertainment value. Even if you're, if you're not streaming, even if you're not streaming, I mean, the, the entertainment value sometimes is just, it's worth it in the end. It, I mean, it, I mean, it so is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just just to just to know that you wasted this fucker's time who's trying to scam some old lady out of ten grand. <laughs> I have no had yeah, two of them good, literally say, I've had two of them literally tell me to the end of the end of the bait. Now I didn't even reveal myself yet. They're like, "I'm tired. Can we just do this tomorrow?" You know, that was after like <laughs> six, seven hours with them, and I just wore them out. Mm-hmm. And if I had a dollar, good. if I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Oh, I know. Hey, Doug, I, I see your, uh, you said, so if I wanted to start at a low cost, uh, what is the best tool to use to call, like, what kind of dialer? Uh, uh, would a, and then you said, uh, would a uh, burner phone work? Uh, mm-hmm. You don't even... You don't even need a a, a burner phone, honestly. So, uh, if so you have... Doug, Doug Doom, if you're trying to scam bait for the first time, try something like Text Now or Google Voice. Yes. Mm-hmm. If if yeah, good I mean, advice, yeah, good you, advice. You, you don't have to. You don't have to get a dialer. Just get Text Now. Get yeah. Google That's Voice, what I use. Something like I mean, that. The few I mean, times I, I can get too. my the few times I can get my scammers on the phone, I'm using Text Now and uh, Google Voice. Mm-hmm. And that's that's not and, connect, not connected to me in real life though. That's very important. They're connected to my my yeah. fake accounts, my fake email accounts. Yeah. Alternate, alternate. They're not alternate, fake. Sorry. Alternate. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. They're alternate, <laughs> alternate personas and things like that. Um, so and and thank you, Cindy, for posting on the link. So thank you very much for doing that. And um, again, kind of going off. Um, okay, here's a question. Um, it was kind of going towards Hatch and Hatch, you kind of have my questions in front of you, but, um, would you recommend this type of style of baiting to anyone? Um, That's one of my questions I have. It's, it's easy and it's, and in a sense, it's you're, you're chatting and not talking. It's easier not to get per, so personally invested or emotionally charged when, you know, they call you names and, and, and it can, it can get heated with some of them. They're, they're not all nice or, right. uh, when they, when they find out they've been baited. So, I mean, if, if, if you can keep yourself from getting that emotional attachment to your baits, um, you can do it emotionally mentally it doesn't take much they're not the smartest people in the world just you can tell them anything um so you know if you have a laptop you can do it you can do it on your phone um Mm -hmm. you know that that, that's kind of the first level then you can get up to the level where i'm at i'm doing it on a pc and i'm making fake payment screens and stuff to really throw some wrenches into their uh into their process yeah, I think that's good. And uh, whiskey, what do you think about that? Yeah, no, I agree. I, I think it's a, it's a really it's an easy way to get in scam baiting. Um, it's how I got into it. it it's what I'm doing now. Um, mm-hmm. You don't have to be super tech savvy. 
Um, for me, the non-delivery scams just kind of level set on that. You know, non-delivery scams are basically advanced fee scams as well to where you are purchasing in terms of whiskey, puppies, hay. You're, you're paying up front for a good or service that you will never get. Um, so sometimes they'll, they'll walk you down and they're like, all right, we'll just pay 50% of it. Um, so you, and in, in, you pay someone usually through Bitcoin cash app, even sometimes mm-hmm. gift cards, um, bank accounts, and then you're, you're never going to get it. And, you know, the puppy yes. scams are especially evil. Um, we see, I work with some amazing folks <clears throat> behind the scenes that scour the better business bureau, uh, weekly reports, and it's thousands and thousands of dollars that people are losing, um, specifically on puppies, uh-huh. you know, because they're paying for these adorable little, you know, fur babies. Mm -hmm. members of their family and they're never going to get it and then it's layered on top of once they pay the puppy scammer then they get into the shipping scam part of that so they they layer on to where you know oh your dog needs a crate you got to pay for this you got to pay for this vaccination and all this stuff Mm -hmm. if you don't do it we're going to report you to you know um for animal cruelty because technically it's your dog and that's usually from what we've seen usually kind of where people are going wait a second this doesn't make sense i'm getting the family well, and, and unfortunately, well, my they, best friend got scammed and even a kitten thing. She nah. paid like a thousand dollars. And you're exactly right. It is so sad when these families are expecting and, and a hatch. I, and I think I interjected there. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Um, well, and Whiskey kind of pointed on something, too, where you can kind of get scammed and then turn around and get scammed again. Mm-hmm. Well, when I, I see in the, you know, like the financial scams I deal with, people will lose X amount of money. And then they'll go and they'll see a, a profile of someone saying, hey, I can get you. Have you been scammed? I can get you your money and crypto back. That scammer. So they have so many unique ways of scamming you and then turning mm-hmm. around and scamming you again. Yeah, right. right. Scams. It's it's scary. And and to think that anyone can get manipulated in that kind of thing. Um Okay, Doug, let's see. Oh, and KDA, if you want to come back in the backstage, I'll, I'll get you up. And because uh, I know you've been wanting to ask a question as well. And uh, so just whenever you're ready. But again, just thank you guys for, for doing all this. Um, okay, Hatch, remember in your stream the other day, you were kind of talking about um, kind of one of your weirdest baiting experiences ever. Do you want to kind of discuss a little bit about that? I do. I, um, in, in the scripts that they get, they, they really try to, um, earn your, uh, your, 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 what do you want to say? They want to validate themselves as being truthful, honest, trustworthy. And when you trust them, you will give them money. Um, I had a scammer this last week asked me, uh, we need to take a truth oath. And I'm like, okay, I love oats, you know, just playing around. And then they mm-hmm. go, do you have a razor blade? And I asked a razor blade. They wanted <gasps> me to cut oh, myself yeah. and send them a picture of it to show that I was being honest and truthful with them. And that was the absolute strangest, weirdest thing I have ever had. A, they asked, you get some weird ones, but that was, that took the cake. Uh, yeah, that is definitely a weirdest one. Whiskey, do you have any weird experiences like Hatch, or is that that's that probably takes the cake? <laughs> and I, I think, yeah. a lot of that, a lot of that is rooted in voodoo and like black magic and stuff like that, which is very mm-hmm. that with PCH scammers in Jamaica, but um, very kind of from what I read up on it, um, you know, very indicative of, of that superstitious. No, that's true. And and Doug, don't feel bad for asking any of these questions because that's why we wanted to bring these two gentlemen around is because they did something that I, I mean, I knew about the Instagram, the romance scams, but nothing like what these two gentlemen are doing. I mean, who yeah, would have thought puppy? So again, don't don't be afraid. So actually he has another question. Um oh, may, may I? Yeah. Uh, all right, so so Doug, uh, there's I'm, I'm not I'm not sure uh, what discords you're in. He's uh, he's not in Discord because even uh, KDA had asked if he's on Discord and he says no. I okay, think. okay. Um, if um, actually okay, if you want to report 
if you want to report phone numbers uh, like that, um, uh, they're most if, if they're you can you can either give them to me or or your best bet is to uh, send an email to abuse at textnow dot com. And because mm. most of the, most of those uh, right. gift card scammers use text now, so it's most likely okay. they use a text now number. If they okay. use WhatsApp, you can report the number directly in WhatsApp. I, I found a lot of them. You will use that and Telegram as well. Yes, that's what my husband was just talking about earlier. He said he's noticed everybody that he watches getting the Telegram scam on almost every mm -hmm. video and then they're acting like they're you and be like, Oh, you just earned a, a reward. Yeah. It's yep. and, and a lot of Twitter scammers. When I talk to them, they'll try to get me to text them on a phone number or get, get me to talk to them on WhatsApp or telegram because no, they good. don't want that incriminating conversation in Twitter chat where Twitter support can see it because once they see it, their profile's gone. Mm-hmm. That was scary. And, and again, you know, Doug, we're, we're welcome to help you out in any way, shape or form. KDA, thank you so much for offering your assistance and, uh, and just know that we're all here. I mean, you can even watch uh, CJ, you can, um, you know, definitely watch team SDS. Oh, hello, West Haven. I mean, there's so many here that you can ask so many questions and, you know, we'll be happy to help you in any way, shape or form, even if you're not on discord you can still get um you know through youtube you can send us messages um i can even put in our email that uh, you can even email us if you need to and so again just thank you for joining us i really do appreciate it and um doug the the um, the bank accounts you likely have gotten from them are likely bank accounts they've stolen from victims Mm -hmm. They like to do that. They, they steal yeah. people's banking information and then they give it out like they're philanthropists. So take this card, take this account number and pay a thousand on your credit card. Well, when you do that, that's going to come back because it's, it's a victim's account. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's yeah, so that's true. Little, and that's, and that's, and that's a, something we probably should talk about is what is a mule. Yeah. There's a, there's a, a lot of, a lot of the money mules don't even know they're money mules. There's exactly. a whole, there's a whole web of, there's a whole web of people that be, before the money gets to any of the scammers, there's a whole web of people that goes through beforehand. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in, in my non-delivery cases, typically most of the mules that are using cash app Zelle are, are knowing they, they, they're aware of it. They're in on it. Um, it's relatively easy to um, not to go into too much detail, but it's relatively easy to get um, and create multiple cash app accounts directed to one account. Um, so they're typically, they're in on it. A lot of them are recruited through um, drug scams. So they're, they're originally a victim turned money mule. So, you know, if you're buying illicit drugs, um, you know, from a scammer on Twitter or Instagram, <clears throat> and then you get scammed, they reach back out to them and say, hey, you know, I scammed you, but I can get you some money back and then some. Mm -hmm. and, and again just I, like meals and willing meals exactly Kerber. yeah what i see in most of my baits are victim mules someone they've already oh. sent the scammer 25 bucks and now the scammer tells them well in order to you to get your donation now you need to work for me and accept money what they do is they'll have other victims send to the unwilling the victim mule in in cash through scam or cash app and then the victim sends it to the scammer through bitcoin so it's really untraceable right. virtually untraceable mm -hmm. Hatch. And so i i deal with more of the uh, victim mules and i have a, a really unique way um that i can get through to them but i think we'll touch on some of that later yeah Hatch, I, i've been thinking quite a bit about about your um you know your victims to me it, it's almost like a ponzi scheme slash pyramid scheme to where they're promising and i think this is with pch as well and i know to a point it is with pch to where they keep these um, the victim mules on the line of saying, no, 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 we're going to get you more money. We've got more money coming. And then you have to send me, you know, 75% of it. You keep 15% and it keeps them on there because they've already been victimized. And then they're like, Oh, okay. Well, I, they're either, they either know they were scammed and they're, they're getting money back or they think it's still a philanthropy type thing to where it's like, mm -hmm. you're sending money to somebody who, but then you're going to send money to somebody else, but then you're going to keep getting money. It's a py pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
very much, very much like. And that's the scary thing, um, especially when you first get started and then all of a sudden it just over time, the development of all this and then figuring out who's a victim and who's not, you know, so again, I, I think this is very valuable information so far. Um, so again, just, oh my gosh. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys, here's another question I have written down. And again, um, it says, what would you say has been your greatest achievement regarding scam baiting? Um, my greatest actually just happened this week. I, I keep track of all the profiles that I, I bait and to see if they've been shut down or still up. Mm -hmm. And when I bait someone, I always check when their profile was open because on their profile, every profile will tell you when it was open. And so mm -hmm. I've recently just got a 13 year old profile shut down. The, the, it was probably a stolen account. The scammers stole someone's account. And we're using it to scam. You know, I don't know exactly how long I'm using it, but that are 13 years old look more legitimate in a victim's eyes. Mm -hmm. For me, so that, um, has been, that was my biggest so far. And that's huge. I mean, getting getting old accounts taken down, just like Hatch's like really old account, legitimizes him significantly in the scammer's eyes. But getting old accounts taken down is really hard. I mean, we our oldest one that we've been trying to take down mm. is been up uh, since January. Oh, um, wow. And it is harder every day that goes by. It's harder and harder versus the ones that just pop up and are a couple of days old. You know, the community, we, we have so many people reporting them. We can get them ripped down pretty quick. So, which is great. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, my greatest achievement is just the awareness. You know, I had um, somebody DM to me on Twitter. It wasn't a follower didn't know who I was, but, you know, got messaged on Instagram um, and was engaging in a conversation over some really rare whiskey. And they just decided to Google the, the Instagram name and, or mm. uh, no, they decided to search it on Twitter. Um, maybe they Googled it, but it came up from one of my tweets that exposed them. And they DM me and he was like, yeah, I was totally like engaged with this guy. And I went to do a little bit of research and, I saw your post, you know, thank you so much. And I was like, that's cool. <laughs> we mm -hmm. love hearing stories like that. No, that's definitely true. That's definitely true. And thank you guys for sharing that. Um, and again, yeah. we definitely want to keep promoting the channel. So again, Hatch does have a Twitch. He's also on Twitter and he has a YouTube. And um, I mean, let's see. And they're all in the description. Yeah, in the... Yes. Oh yeah, they're in the description as well. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I've got I've got a YouTube's and a, a Twitches. Yeah, <laughs> Twitch. YouTube's. I, YouTube's. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube's. Oh my God. Okay, Dad, get off the yeah. computer. <laughs> you can um you can follow me on you can follow me on MySpace as well. Um, yeah, I know. So I'm a MySpace. Have, uh, dad have you been mm -hmm. keeping up with the Facebooks? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Facebook. Uh, but anywho, um, I so I don't I don't stream yet. I've thought about it. At some point, I would like to, but. You um, should. Yeah, you know, for the most part, it's just Twitter and uh, Instagram. But again, you guys should. And so again, if there's any more questions that you have, um, oh, hi, PJ. The interwebs can be confusing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. Steela goes, I remember MySpace. I never had one, but I think uh, I miss MySpace. One. Yeah, I think someone I actually did the last one to like get off of it, which was funny. I think it was my I sister. I never had one either. It. Hey, that's that's I why I like hanging out with y'all. I feel so young. <laughs> you are a little baby cash. You yeah, are I never baby. had MySpace. Tell tell but... me, tell me about the war. Any of them, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in eighteen hundred and ninety five. No, I'm kidding. Um, back when we invaded Grenada. Um, but so um, I'm in sales and marketing. So that's you know I work with a lot of people that are a lot mm -hmm. younger than I am. <laughs> so I always like to throw out the MySpace and they just roll their eyes. Oh, I know. I know. And again, please. Um, and, and yes, Doug, um, the victims. Yes. The, we do have some victim advocates already in line and they already do that in place. And also hatch, you have an experience of, you know, getting victims, like you said earlier with messaging them through uh. cash app. 
Yeah, yeah uh, Hatch, if, uh, do you want to throw that story down the rabbit hole? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, I had been scam baiting, and I noticed a lot of them were using Cash App, and it dawned on me that a lot of these are victims' accounts, and I just started feeling really bad. Like, there's, there's got to be some way to, t- to contact these people and tell them, hey, you're getting scammed. Don't, don't send them any money. Don't do anything. And then it dawned on me, it's like, I saw that you can send a little message when you send money or request money on Cash App. It's, it's like you only get like 100 characters. It's really short. Mm-hmm. And so I found out you can send the minimum of $1. So when every scammer gives me a cash tag to send money to, I send that cash tag $1 with a message saying, you know, John Doe is a scammer. Don't send them any money. Mm -hmm. And I know, I know it's worked because they can reply um, back once they, once the transaction is final, they can reply with an emoji and I'll get thumbs up, hearts. One guy actually did the same thing and sent me like four transactions telling me his story of thank you. I thought it was sounded sketchy. Um, and then just yesterday, um, yeah, it was yesterday, I had a scammer after they gave me their cash tag, they gave me the victim's um, Twitter handle. And so I went, I went and I messaged them. They happened to be online. And so we had caught them live in the scam and prevented them from losing any money and that as a scam baiter there's no greater feeling than that no greater feeling Mm -hmm. yeah it's i i do not contact victims so you know with because i I don't either bank accounts um i do not i i'm not comfortable with it at this point not having any training um you know hatch has some experience in in counseling world and um, a lot more education than i do with it so Mm -hmm. that's not something i'm comfortable with um so i typically am just reporting things but i do what we do with uh whiskey scammer and myself and actually a lot of other folks on on twitter when we see someone comment in a twitter feed when they reply back to a scammer Mm -hmm. We like flood them with like warnings. We're like, hey, FYI, by the way, this is a scammer. I will DM them and try to be preventative. So most of these folks don't know. They see, you know, a bottle of Pappy 15 for 800 bucks and they're like, like, how do I get one? And then we're like on top of it very quickly. You know, hey, Joe Schmo, this is a, you know, this is a scam. There is no whiskey for you to have. Mm hmm. No, so true. That's so true. And, um, oh, Care Bear, saving a friend. So, yeah, you're actually right. Um, sorry, I'm trying to I stay have, on track here. Sorry, go ahead, Cash. Uh, I have been distancing myself from uh, uh, dealing with people who have already been scammed. Uh, but uh, one, one of my uh, one of my greater callings is um, in the middle of a scam because um, there's a there's a lot of people in our community that are really good at uh, doing some stuff that uh, they have access to some some information and it's like hey this person's getting scammed right now mm-hmm. blah, blah 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 interrupting a scam that's there's no better adrenaline rush no, it's so mm-hmm. great than than just you know calling and calling and calling and then finally getting them to hang up Yes. Then, hey, okay, hey, this is why I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> all right. Now that now that we're all here, now that you're off the phone with everyone else, I don't want anything from you. I don't I don't I, right. I'm just letting you know what's going on. You know, you can kind of put the brakes on at that point. There's no better rush than that. But also you yep. have to deal with it carefully because cash, as you know, there are times where people want to talk to the scammer, just like is mentioned in the yeah. comments, that they would rather talk to them because they're thinking, are you also scamming me yeah. and getting scared and going, oh, my God, why are you talking yeah, to me? That's, so, that's happened to me. Well, I've had, I've had somebody yell at me on the phone thinking I was a scammer before. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, have to you have to be you have um, to be light on your feet for sure. My my, my favorite time was when we shut down tw- uh, twelve call centers in a day. That was nice. I I, I appreciated that. I, I I like I like calling tech support scammers. That's my thing. Yes, yeah. and you do a great job, by the way. So if anyone, you know, needs to hear different baits, definitely listen to Cash Hatch Whiskey Nope CJ. Um, you know, and definitely uh, 
There's, you got to listen it. to Mary and the way she does it. And, and so again, it's just like with any of us in the community, there are so many different ways. And then, like you said, cash, when you can catch them in that instant, because there are times where we have a VM and then we'll hear someone get on uh, back in the day when it used any desk a lot more, we would get the number and try to interrupt that same time. And that was really fun. And, but sometimes we don't catch it at the right time. So yeah. Well, there's and doing there's, the text. There's the a, text there's space. A, that's go ahead, Cash. You first. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, there's there's a, there's a million different things to do in the scam baiting community, and um, I, I feel like here recently, it's it, the scam baiting community, or, or not not even the scam. Well, I guess it is all involved in the scam baiting community, but uh, the. the taking care of scammer community <laughs> i guess we'll put it that way because there's victim advocates there's 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 all sorts of there's there's a million Entities. different things yeah there's there's a million different things going on at once it's not all just it's just not all scam baiting scam baiting is is a large chunk of it don't get me wrong it's over half of it that i would say it's probably closer to 80 90 percent of it uh, as far as people involved uh, but but there's a million other things to do, and uh, mm. I, f I feel like there's a lot of people that are interested that don't have the access to a, uh, a VM. They don't have the access to a dialer. They don't have the access to a, uh, a full running computer. Some people are just mm -hmm. watching YouTube videos on their phone, and they're like, damn, this sounds interesting. How can I get involved? Right. And there, there are different ways to get involved. Um, uh, if, uh, even even at the bare minimum, just sharing, just sharing with your friends, uh, uh, sharing with your family at the bare minimum. There's that. Yes. Uh, then then you're a part retweeting a, a scam baiters tweet. That is huge. That helps. Yes. yes yeah. It does. That, that just helps the community grow because because you uh, can be a cheerleader. You can be a, a just a fan and you can even the, go to your family's the, nursing it, home. And talking to them and seeing like how are they preventing the scams? What are they doing? In the in the last in the last three years, uh, I, I was doing a little bit of looking up on this. Uh, scammers have actually backed off of the U.S. They've been looking into other countries, and uh, and and it's just because of the pressure that the, the scam baiting community has thrown out there. And it's you know it's it's not necessarily scam baiters. Mm -hmm. It's it's people that scam baiters have shared the information with and they're like, oh, this is a fucking scam. Fuck you. And then they hang up. <laughs> well, right. if, if, you, if, if you call 100 numbers a day and 99 of them say, fuck you, hang up, uh, your numbers are going down significantly. Yeah, great just example because, of that. Just because, just mm -hmm. because the information got shared. I mean, it's, yes. it, it, doesn't, it doesn't take much to... It, 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 it literally takes very little amount except for just sharing just sharing and it does. Uh, and then and that's that's the bare minimum and then if if, if you want to get involved with uh uh like if, if you just have a phone if you if you just have a phone if you don't have a computer set up if you don't have streaming capabilities if you don't want to be a streamer, like i do, i don't want to be a streamer uh i i love sharing my experiences i love talking about my experiences and and hearing other people's experiences together but streaming live calls and stuff like that eh, no not my thing right but there's That's there's always a part for for everyone in the community i mean if you just have a phone you can set up a, a, a not a not a not a fake email but a all, mm -hmm. alternate email <laughs> no that's true and <laughs> And this is also a great thing, Doug, that he works at a printer place so he can share some information from us and share it out. And that is a really yeah. big step right there because actually that's something that we want to work on is another project that I've got in thoughts and I've already told Nope about it. And and Hatch is already kind of building up a scam bait or website, which is awesome. And so again, if, if um, we can get if we can definitely get in touch with Doug and you know, maybe even get some of that printed out for us, you know. And yeah, well, so one of the things of... to piggyback on what what Hatch was saying about the retweets and the likes. Yes, so yes. I, I have I have multiple beta accounts on on Twitter, and 
I cannot escape <laughs> whiskey scam alert, you know, my kind of partner mm-hmm. in crime, uh, you know, that I work with on Twitter that does really all the hard work in terms of researching and, and finding these guys. I get a pop up, you know, suggested, you know, follow on my bait accounts constantly with his, you know, whatever his tw- tweet is because of the people I'm following. So the Twitter algorithm is saying, hey, you know, Joe alternate account, you're following all these whiskey folks you should also follow whiskey scam alert and it, it's it's amazing i mean every time i go on there i'm like this is great so it, it's raising awareness for people that are in the whiskey community to sit there and it pops up they go whiskey scam like everybody here what the hell's a whiskey mm-hmm. scam and then they'll click on it and then they learn a little bit and that's that's raising awareness and bringing education to it Yes. And yeah. and getting started on Twitter, it, it's really just as simple as using your phone, downloading the app and making a fake account. Don't use your real account. And you can get them, you can chat with them and get them to say enough in chat to violate terms of service without needing to go to fake payment screens and all that. The, the terms of service basically say if anyone is asking for money to receive money, which is, which is the cash app scam 101 that's against terms of service the money doesn't have to actually exchange hands well, and so you can just do right. it with your phone a fake profile and get them to say enough and then you got to learn how to report them properly because twitter's to, to actually you can actually report them specifically for scamming but it's a 10 10 step part to do it um but but it works well for getting them shut down when you report them that way uh, would would you would you say it's gonna get easier or harder with the whole Twitter shit going on right now, Hutch? Um, I've already seen it getting harder. Yeah, um, that's I what I was afraid to, of. When I, 15% of the Twitter support staff got Damn cut, me. and yeah, so what I've been lot. seeing is whereas profiles that I would report getting shut down in 48 to 72 hours are now getting shut down in six to seven days. Yeah. So mm. I don't know That's if maybe they've gone to just doing it in batches. Like we're going to do all the reports on Friday or something or something yeah. like that, but it's not, it's not happening as quickly as it used to. Yeah. That fucking sucks, man. Yeah, that it, does. Sucks. it does. Well, um, uh, uh, Doug had a great question here. Um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. The, throw that up. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, we already talked about that. Yeah, but 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 I want to reiterate that a little oh, of bit. Of course, of course. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, it's, I don't mean to be rude. No, no, you're good. Uh, it, it, that is that is something that comes with the social engineering side. Um, if you're doing a text-based scam, it's a little bit um, not. I don't want to say easier, but you have more time to think and and and, and I mean, it's like writing an essay. You can proofread. Time is on your side. Time is on your side. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect way to say that whiskey. Thank you. And also I'm posting what you just said. um, Whiskey. I'm I'm posting what you wanted to report about clicking the three dots. Uh, Uh, But hey, do you want to throw KDA up? Of course. Of course. KDA, where the hell are you at? I know. She she said she wanted to ask a question and then she hasn't popped back up. So uh, I would love that because we do need to kind of probably wrap some things up. I know we've been talking for about an hour and 15 minutes almost. And so if anyone else has any other questions or if they want to even come up on panel, um, then yeah, absolutely. we can, I'd love to we can pop up in here. Of course. And so I'll be happy, but again, let's just, you know, if you want to make sure we've answered all the questions that Doug has, I've started all of them. There's six of them. So we want to make sure we have, uh, the game, the victims, call the victims, which yeah. well, you know, hey, so Doug, that we, hey, we have a lot of people that, you know, so Doug, if you even want to come in, yeah, you are more you... than welcome. I'm going to post the link and, um, yeah, would you, would you like to come up? And... Yes. Yeah, so now Hang guys, do y'all have any, anything else that you want to share before, uh, we bring KDA up and others at this um... time? I, I just, I think we need more people scam baiting on Twitter. Not a lot of people know about it. Yes. And there are thousands upon thousands of scammers. And once they get their profile shut down, they start a new one just as 
leave a VPN, start a new one. So there, it's really hard to cut down the population scammer. It's really easy to get started. I get lit out 90 profiles are shut down or deleted or something. So as long it's easy to do and it's you can get stuff done if you just go through make them go through their script get them reported and you can get them shut down it's it's it, mm-hmm. it literally sounds simple and it is it's more complex but that's that's the tdlr no yeah, i appreciate you know, it and whiskey it- yeah, you know, for me, you know, getting, a, you know, being in a scam banning community and is relatively, I guess, new, um, you know, s- since April is that, you know, this is a different type of bait. So sometimes it's it's good to mix things up, mm-hmm. um, not only for content, you know, for your viewers, but sometimes you just need a mental break, you know, from from the grind of whether it's tech support, whether it's streaming. Uh, you know, and I've, I've talked to a handful of streamers that are like, Hey, can you send me some of those Instagram handles? Can you send mm-hmm. me some of those Twitter handles? Cause they just need something a little bit different, uh, to mix it up. And, and sometimes you, you like all of us, you know, especially if you're making content, you, you never know what you're going to get until you really start with it. Um, and that's where, you know, to me, the, it's fun, the improv part of it, you know, mm-hmm. the, the steering uh, the scam a little bit. And, you know, thank you for posting on how to uh, report a Twitter scam. Yes. And thank you I got for this getting that hatch. information. No, and, yeah. and thank you. I, I appreciate it. So that way we can um, share that. And, uh, <laughs> and the, no, sorry, Dill Hole. I, yeah, I don't Dill. Have any of that right. Yeah, Dill Rye. Yeah, I was supposed to show that. That's half um, so again, we have a wonderful Bader in front of ours, KDA. She's here. And not only does she help in many communities, she also follows and listens to a lot of people. And especially she falls asleep to a particular <laughs> streamer tonight, which is cute. Of um, course. I, of no, course. I got it. Yeah, but, uh, of course. Yeah, so again, uh, KDA, I know you said you had some questions. I'm sorry we had a little delay in getting you up the that's fine that's fine um i just have a question for whiskey the non-delivery scam um how many yeah, how question. do you yeah how many uh times do you get them shut down like the, when they get past the after they give them the money for the puppy and then they get into the uh the carrier yeah so I need to be a little careful uh, with how much I talk about it. So actual arrestable, uh, I don't. So, you know, I, I can only do so much, you know, so my whole goal is to dry up their, their money laundering effort, you know, by reporting bank accounts, cash app. Um, and that's why I specifically target certain things uh, in terms of, of money reporting Bitcoin wallets. Um, the, the website, some of the whiskey, depending on the server, some of them are very, very responsive. I have a love affair with Namecheap because they are absolutely amazing with taking down the whiskey sites. Um, the puppies is a little bit different. Um, l- let me put it this way. If, if you get a suspected website you know, link or whatever from from someone that that's offering to sell you anything. Google the site. Do not go directly to it. Type it in Google and then scroll down and look at the search results. In terms of puppies, okay. mm-hmm. most of the time, a lot of them will be number two, number three in the search engine will have something to do with scam. Yeah. No, that's true. And Care Bear, you know exactly. Katie, that was a great question. Um, do you have any any other questions? I had one other question. Sure. Um, can you explain uh, to our viewers what uh, a hay scam is? <laughs> hay yes. scam. Yeah, this is the not just hey. You know, not just hey, hello. This is hey, hey. This was mm-hmm. really strange. So, you know, I saw it on Twitter a couple times to where you know, whiskey scam alert would be like, dude, did you like our, our guy switched from whiskey to hay? I'm like, hey, I'm like, that's hay really is for that's horses. Bizarre. Hay is mm-hmm. for horses and cows mm-hmm. and lots of other things, stuff, as I know Cash knows, <laughs> having a little bit of a farming background. Um, so then I was like, hmm, let's go down this rabbit hole. So I found a couple of, of Better Business Bureau reports on hay scams. They, they were 
basically stealing content from hardworking farmers in the U.S. and Canada and stealing their photos and making their own website. And a lot of this stem from, you know, all, all these scams, they stem from where, you know, there's a need. So there, there was a hay shortage in the U.S. And, and farmers were looking, you know, overseas on how to get hay. So these guys were like, oh, okay, let's make these websites. Um, so I actually contacted, this is the few case, you know, one of the few cases I actually reached out to the actual farm and said, hey, FYI, do you know about this? And a, a couple of them were like, we do. We don't know what else we can do. And I was like, hold my beer, hold my whiskey. <laughs> and then, mm-hmm. yeah. so I actually, I, you know, reached out to the hay scammer and baited them. I, I had some great folks in the community that were grabbing, you know, lots of information from them uh, through their phone calls. And I was able to get their websites shut down. Now that's awesome. great. That's great. No, that thank you is so awesome. much. Yeah, and nope, I'm going to bring question. you down for a minute. And KDA, yes, um, awesome questions. And that's why I'm glad you're here. Um, because everyone is part of Scam Bait Beyond. Everybody is a part of uh, Scam Baiting Communities. And so now I'm going to drop Nope down and then let's bring up Grant Man. Yeah, PJ, I've seen a lot of horse sites as well. Yes. Hi, oh, Grant, Grant Man. Oh, oh my are you? goodness. Oh, don't hey, act! Oh, don't act like you're in a million dollar house now. We saw that background. <laughs> That's a beautiful yeah, I house. Thinking. No, it's yeah, beautiful it's house. real. I know, play I, the piano and yes, everything. That's the, house, that's the house I want. And um, you know, again, uh, KDA, have you finished all your questions before we drop you down? And that way, we'll bring in uh, JoJo. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for everything that you're doing. We appreciate okay. you. All right. All right. All right, Grant, you're up for your questions. And then next is Jojo. So it's not really just a question, just to kind of touch bases on what you guys talked about. Um, Cause I did a scam being like, probably 10 years ago, like back when I was doing it with AJ. Um, and I, then I got out of it because I was in a, another time zone. I was working in China, but I found like the, the best way to keep them on the line is to keep the story straight redirect them and try to just and even if you feel like throwing a Hail Mary like the other day I just did a call and said I was already at the bank wanting to withdraw 40,000 try to fast forward their story put them off their game so you can go right for the money and I and I tried to win that multiple times until the last call uh, a couple of days ago we were able to get two addresses so if you can cut right to the chase, you know, for those who really want to get that information, do that. Um, I was going to I was going to actually kind of ask about the Twitter scam. So, like, when you say Twitter scam, are those the people that tell you that to get into their crypto service or something like that? There are so many different types of scams they run <laughs> on Twitter. They it, run financial scams. It is a river scams, an inch deep fake, and a mile wide. <laughs> uh, fake crypto exchanges where they'll send you an e- a message saying, you've won $15,000 in Ethereum. Just go to this website, register. And then when you put your code in, it, it's a fake website. And they, it, it looks look pretty legit but then they tell you oh you have to make a deposit of so much currency mm. to be able to withdraw your currency and once you do that it's gone um boy uh, just what, saying what that just... was saying um what grantman was saying uh regarding getting straight to the point i there's two types of scammers in my mind there's the scammer that sticks straight to the script and nothing but the script then you go straight through with it but then the what i call a dangerous scammer is one that listens to you when if you say oh my mom got sick the other day and they say hey i'm sorry to hear about you now that scammer you can take them on a wild ride you can tell them anything from horse cpr um to i mean you (laughs) name it done it with so there's there. I, I think there's more like two types. Ty- anyway, my, my my that's my two cents. Yeah. So yeah. for for me with the non delivery scams, the less they don't want to talk, they do not want engagement. They don't want to go back and forth. So they they I can get the fastest I got a bank account was I filled out a online form because you can never actually check out on the scam websites. You know, it's always like, oh, you want to do bank transfer? We'll email you, and they literally emailed me a bank account zero engagement no back and forth no checking to see if i was legit literally emailed me a bank account and to answer doug doom's uh 
you know, question about the bank addresses. I call the banks. Um, yeah, I have some folks. I, I report some bank accounts to some folks, but typically I call the bank account, the bank myself, uh, and report it. The big banks tend to not, to be frank, don't really seem to give a shit. Uh, mm -hmm. The credit unions are absolutely amazing. They want to know who it was, where it came from, and they they're actually engaged. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you don't get any satisfaction um, from the bank because they can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, we're suspending it, we're flagging it, we're doing anything else. Um, so you kind of just got to go, you know what? It's in their hands now. I did all I could. So, yeah. Yeah, it's very quick, uh, Grant, man. So we only can do so much, unfortunately. And I think, who was it I was talking to um, who was mentioning, like, you know, at the end of the day, we only can go so far. We cannot do the PI work. We cannot be the PI. We cannot be the one that goes to investigate firsthand that's dangerous but at the same time in principle i almost feel like it's our duty if we know what we're doing to do it kind of kind of contradicting myself on that though because i feel so bad because the longer we waste them investigating the more victims they can get a hold of that makes sense mm -hmm. it does oh hi nicholas he's saying hi hedge so, no, I think, Agent, that's great. Um, you know, again, you do a great job and you have been a baiter for a long time and I'm thankful for what you do. And is there any other questions that you have at this time? Otherwise, we'll move to JoJo. Yeah, no questions. Um, You can drop me out or I'll just stay quietly staring. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Um, yeah, just in case. I want to admire your house some more. I know, I know. Yeah, so, uh, yeah Jojo. It's from the StreamYard. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> you can pretend you have a, a big expensive house, too. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I admire that very, very much. I think I want to use it. I'm at a club, um, apparently. Yes, you are. <laughs> Again, uh, Jojo, did you have any questions that you want to say? Um, any or ask, questions? I say. That you need, we just you want to ask. Sorry, I don't know why I just said say. Um, nothing that Grant didn't touch on, but a few more issues. Like, are you just going to be focusing on the Twitter scam specifically? Uh, as far as this YouTube channel, is that what you're asking? Yeah. No, no, absolutely not. Uh, our goal with this YouTube channel is to just have more panels like this. And um, uh, this this is our first panel. And uh, we have uh, Hatch and Whiskey, who are both uh, more so on the, the social media side of things. And mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of people who don't know a lot about... Uh, text-based scams you know right uh well, there's, and, and... there's the there's the there's the big youtubers that uh you know that they have they have their everyone knows if you look up scam baiting <laughs> on youtube or google really <laughs> anything you're gonna yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see the the big the big guys and right. it's all and it's all you know scammer payback get boga uh you know it's it's all that yeah, stuff oh, and, yeah. and that's, People that KDA watch while going to sleep, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, and there's, 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 there's nothing, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. But they're that's just, amazing in what they do. Yeah, it's they just are. Not, they are. It's just, it's just not relatable to a lot of people. So uh, basically, what uh, we're trying to do with this YouTube channel is to kind of advertise different ways of scam baiting for people who maybe don't have a virtual machine, a dialer, or access to a solid computer or internet access. They can just yes. use their phone, you know, just, well, just try to yeah, spread the use, word about different things. Well, let me use, kind of tell you how this yeah. all started too, is we actually had a panel on my other channel, uh, the Chit Chat, and really the the biggest thing that it got out there was viewed was scam baiting. So I thought, you know what, we need to start another channel and do, and basically put it as a hub as a promotion prevention and education like cash is saying and that way we can um teach pretty much as much as we can on here and of course we're going to build up other projects as as in the time being um i've got some other things lined up but again we are going to have other panelists we're going to have other guests on and also bring in other baiters and maybe even share some of their stories of of what they've done and that way it's a it's a community 
I mean, this is everybody's. It's, you know, I'm not just Scambate Beyond. It's everybody is Scambate Beyond. And, um, but also we're affiliated, we're teamed with Team SDS and, um, and also uh, Scammer Takeout. And, you know, again, go check his channel out. But again, this is kind of how I started. And then Cash kindly said, hey, can I co-host? And so I'm really thankful that, you know, everyone that's on here um, decided to help us out. Because if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here today. Because I know CJ also helps, you know, promote and educate. So but there are other YouTube channels that do the same thing. We just want to be more of a beyond scam baiting. We want to, we want to develop into more. So there's more to come. It's just we're still in the baby steps. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm pretty sure you still have my Discord if you're <laughs> looking for an editor or something. I don't yes. Cash. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, JoJo, I'd like for you to get together uh, with us at Scambate Beyond tomorrow at some time. Yeah, no, the the whole the whole goal of uh, of this uh, this panel thing is to maybe, I mean, because I'm speaking for myself, but uh, as much as I learn in the scan uh, in the scam baiting community and uh, the different people I meet and the different ways that they take on scam baiting and the different ways that they deal with different issues <laughs> wow beyond scam baiting <laughs> <laughs> i mean it was i mean it was uh, yeah 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 plug that well one. actually my husband thought of this as scam bait bath and beyond so that's kind of how the title came to be <laughs> but uh but beyond scam baiting you know victim advocacy and stuff like that that's that our ultimate goal is just to, to share like the kind of the behind the scenes and uh, or not not necessarily to share the behind the scenes but to get people that work behind the scenes to answer questions you know just an open forum mm -hmm. basically right cash, and is, also, uh, cash is pretty much the guy behind the guy behind the guy you know in terms of connecting folks a little i thought you were talking about my sex life there for a second no, 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 no. i got nervous and, and, yeah. and any exposure whatsoever any exposure of scam baiting a scam baiter of what they what they do sharing it sharing it raises awareness awareness is the greatest tool we have in our belts mm -hmm. and it's the one we have to work on the most well it's like i was saying earlier with the uh, you know the 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 main thing the, the bare minimum that anyone could do is just tell someone they know yeah you're a part of the, you're part of the community if you tell someone that you know that you think could be a victim of a scam if 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 you tell them something about this then you're already doing your you're already doing your part yeah and you know and they'll know who to reach out to so you know yeah. when when i ventured upon this this very strange path or as my family says the weird shit i do in the basement um <laughs> you know i started talking to like you know, man, unfortunately i can see you yeah we can <laughs> you can see me i'm yeah, looking can... at there's a big black there's a black screen like it's just loading but you can see me going around yeah, yeah. yeah. yes <laughs> Yeah, we can yeah, see you. We can see you. Sir, just don't don't touch anything. Please, please. <laughs> yeah, just leave it. It'll, it'll mm -hmm. just stop moving the mouse, sir. Yeah, yeah. Stop moving yeah. the mouse, sir. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on? Yeah. Maybe if you're being serious, say, I did hit start, I did hit stop cam, and I did hit. I can fix that for a thirty dollars gift card. <laughs> All right. So what I need 2%. you to do, sir, quit listening. Quit listening to these other scammers. Quit listening. Get on anydesk.com. Any no, desk. No, no, sir. Do not talk to him. <laughs> W wait, 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 wait. I, I, I'm so confused. I'm just so confused. Team see what happens if you have too many scam in the same room. We go in the character. Oh, my God. Yeah. Amanda got to hear me. In, I could, oh, gosh. There's a Your recording there. is at the 2%. I was crying so hard I had to laugh. I was laughing so hard I had to cry. <laughs> so when I, I, I got emotional and... and she was my best friend, even though she was abusive sister to me in yeah. our hypothetical. Yeah. Wait, were you or were you not? No, no you... I, I wasn't but... an abusive one, but you know, sometimes I do get loud. <laughs> uh, she already told me I had anxiety. I didn't know I had anxiety. <laughs> oh, no, it's because you had him. <coughs> you had a lot I of, I you felt with the divorce, 
you had to deal with the hip surgery. You had bad knees. You were and I had no pounds. I mean, you had a lot of. Blood, uh, and, and I had no idea that was. I had no idea there was so much wrong with me because I was just talking, and my sister just decided to put all that extra stuff on me. I was just sad because I'm an emotional person, but oh, she had to add you're to. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. You're a good guy. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. All right. And, so uh, I think I think uh, I think it's a it's about time to wrap this shit up. It's been about an hour and a half now. We had a yes. good one. Yes, a good I, one. I hope everyone has enjoyed themselves. Again, um, Doug, definitely get with KDA. Anyone, um, I, anyone and, in, anyone in right now? If you don't mind hitting that little like button, it doesn't cost like you share. a thing. Yes, yes. It doesn't cost you a and, thing. I'm not even asking for the share. Just hit the like. Just yeah. gonna charge you a fee. Please do the YouTube things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but maybe, maybe, maybe that'll help. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes. So we're going to definitely, um, yeah, even a great idea, uh, pick a night, a week or month to get all together and go beyond Twitter and do call centers. You know what? We, we're, we're definitely into suggestions, so that's a good one. Um, so we appreciate that. And, and, uh, Amanda, do you want to throw the, uh, do, you, do you have the uh, Discord? link um yes you want to you want to throw that in there real quick we're gonna do yes. a little after party on the discord hosted by yours truly mm -hmm. yeah so definitely Can come on in and then... which which Listen. discord guys uh, which, which... it's the it's the scam bait beyond discord oh okay, um, okay. i'm in that one Amanda, Amanda, you got that i'm, I'm getting it right there. now yep and also um there it is. I'll, I'll i'll put our email link in the description so that way doug um Actually, I'll just go ahead and post it now. Um, here's one that you can get in touch with me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then uh, you can, you can. Well, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, and for everybody, you know, um, it, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, entertaining these this this strange kind of new scam baiting. Uh, I think that's not new to Hatch or I, but you know, we appreciate all the support uh, from the community of really introducing everybody to um, a, a very different type of scam baiting. Um, oh, any, it, any time you guys are always welcome to come back because we know yeah, that it, there's so much more to learn about this. It's, it's been so really great. Fun. You know, like I said, you know, it was basically whiskey scam alert and I on Twitter fighting these guys and, and he's been ap absolutely, he's a very behind the scenes private person, but you know, I, I update him constantly with, you know, different scam baiters calling and trolling, you know, mm -hmm. our, our whiskey scammers. And he's like, this is absolutely amazing. I love that they're on the ropes. And we have legitimately seen a significant decrease in scammers, whiskey scammers in particular on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a massive increase of getting them shut down as soon as they get on there. Right. Um, and a lot of that is because of our amazing whiskey community on, on Twitter, but it's also because you know, of a lot of folks, you know, in the scam baiting community. So um, it's been great. You know, bye, uh, Mark. Good seeing you. Yes. Yeah. And and again, we're um, you know, this is not the last time that you're going to see us on here. And I appreciate everyone for being here tonight. Or if you join the Discord, on, or else um, share it with some of your family members that may need to that may need some of these resources for Twitter scams mm -hmm. or other important scams. Yeah, uh, as I think it was Whiskey said earlier. Um, yeah, and TwitterScams.info. That's a great resource. Yeah, too. Also, HTH has a URL right above their head. Go, be sure to check out that URL, TwitterScams.info, to learn more. Hey, Hatch, duck down a little bit. The best yeah, way. Yeah, just duck down just a tad. The way, there you go. The yep, best there you way go. to protect people <laughs> is by having everyone know about these scams when they're present. <laughs> Eventually, yes. scamming will not be a viable career path anymore, and we will see a oh. dip. Whether that's tomorrow or in the next hundred years, that's for anyone to decide. Yeah, yeah. and if I could piggyback on that real quick about Discord, sure, um, sure, um, and then we'll and then we'll uh, finalize. Yeah, it. sorry. Um, no, no, you're fine. Do not be afraid to tell your parents, your grandparents about Discord. Because you could be mm -hmm. very, very surprised that they're already on Discord playing some Gardenville thing. My mother, who's yes. in her 70s, Farmville. Is on, 
Uh, Farm Farm yes. <laughs> She's on Discord. I told my kids, I was like, do you know your grandmother is on Discord? They're like, oh my God, why? I'm like, it's some Farmville thing. So, like, Discord, and I'm significantly over 40, <laughs> and my kids were like, why are you on Discord? I was like, uh, it's for, like, scam baiting and stuff. But, mm -hmm. like, Discord is not just for gaming, which right. I think typically it used to be. It's for, yes. obviously, we're all on Discord, so we know these Discord. Things Discord is now more mm -hmm. advertised for bringing communities together. 100%. It is, and... because it started in 2015 for just gamers. But now, there are so many different communities that you can look into. So it's Recently, not just Discord for put young... out a... Recently, Discord put out a documentary talking about how some very successful artists... Um, like up and coming hip hop artists had met through Discord, had made music through Discord. Oh wow! So don't, nice. There's a community for basically everything. There's a community yes. for your favorite anime, for your favorite TV show, for scam baiting. Mm -hmm. Just be sure to not click any of those weird links that you may get. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. And again, you know, to each of y'all, Cash, thank you so much for co-hosting with me. Your honor Absolutely. and a privilege. And yes, you do love to talk a lot, but you know what? We love you even more for it. Um, That's what I'm here and, you're, for. and you're and you're sexy as hell. Um, Pat, <laughs> what? You, well, you know, he's a sexy man. <laughs> I can say that. We're married. Um, yeah. <laughs> not to each other. Not to each other. Just married. Um, and and Hatch, yes. you are uh, just an incredible man. So again, everyone, please go check out his Twitter scams.info and also go look Thank at him you. at Thank Twitch. So and it's and right down there. Yes, and he, you should go watch it and just see what he does. It is so entertaining. And again, you get the opportunity. So. Um, again, Hatch, do you have any final words or comments that you want to say before heading off? No, just, you know, check it out. Um, sit up, stick around, chat. We have amazing community. Um, we'd love to have you. And um, I guess I got to do a shameless plug for my website. I got yes. everything out there oh, from awesome. scam info to scammer listings to links to other scam baiters. So there's there's a plethora of information you can get there. Oh, yeah. who was talking about Namecheap earlier? I was. Yeah, uh, I agree with what you said about Namecheap earlier. I completely forgot to tell y'all, but uh, actually, I've been using Namecheap as my register for around a year now. We'll get into that in the after party. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say yeah. I'll, I'll fill you, I'll fill yeah. you on why Name. <laughs> I can give you some insight on why Namecheap is so great about taking down websites all offline. Yeah. So, whiskey, do you have any final words? No, just uh, thanks for the opportunity being here. Uh, you know, love it. it, it it's been a blast. You know, if, if scam bait, have fun with it. Anybody yeah. can do it. It's super easy on Twitter. It's super easy on Instagram. Uh, it doesn't take a lot, but, you know, have fun with it. You know, if it's draining you and it's it's taxing you emotionally, step away. Um, you can have fun and do some really, really great things about protecting folks and, and wasting scammers' time. However, for the love of God, stop flooding scam call centers. In the end of the day, we all just want to have fun, troll them, mm -hmm. stop well, flooding them. Well, we can talk more about that later. But again, Grant and and uh, Joe, thanks for coming at the end. KDA, thanks for also coming in. Um, but again, thank you to all of the chat. Um, here tonight. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch us and spend time with us. And, you know, just again, we look forward to many, many more adventures with you all through this whole journey. And again, thank you to the mods and thank you, Patch and Whiskey, for your time and teaching us. And again, I'm so thankful that I've met you guys. And I'm so thankful for our friendships that we're developing. And we're going to just go see you and you just see more and more. So again, thank Amanda. you guys. Yes, Cash. I was about to get to you. Before you roll us out, I have the last word. Before mm -hmm. you roll us out, will you will you throw the Discord and that email in the chat one more time? Oh, I was just about to do that. Here, I, uh, I do if, I any, if anybody has, if if anybody has any plugs. Yes, yes. Pro, pro, this is pro, oh, yeah, private yeah, chat. Promote, promote. Yeah, promote, promote, promote. promote, promote. Yes. Oh, what I do offhand scam meeting won't do anything. <laughs> Just my stupid English classes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? But that's but that's perfect. So, um, yeah. So we got the Discord. We got um, Twitter <clears throat> info. And, and throw that throw that email out for for anyone who doesn't have Discord. Shoot that email a, a message, and we'll get back with you on a way to it, answer any questions you have. Any questions you have. If we yes. can't answer it, we know someone who can. 
Yes, that's a good thing. So again, I just want to wish you all a wonderful night and uh, we'll look forward to you again soon. And thanks again. And everyone, we're signing off. Here we go. See ya. Bye, guys. Have a, have a great rest of your day or night or whatever. I don't know. Yes. Time's <laughs> on.